Hello and welcome back. In this video series, we'll explore the new FreeQMS Complaints module by entering and processing an electronic complaint. This complaint will concern a purely fictional medical device product. The complaint process, although not identical, is roughly the same for ISO 9001, AS9100, IATF 16949, and other quality system customers that field, investigate, and act on complaints. In part two of this video series, we will be completing several complaint activities for our complaint. Lifeguard 600 PCA pump over infusion to hospitalize patient, including the investigation root cause, reportability assessment, and notify external party. As a refresher, we're going to start from the home screen of the complaints module. We're going to select our complaint, Lifeguard PCA pump over infusion to hospitalize patient. In part one of this video series, we created the initial complaint. In this complaint, an infusion pump, our company manufacturers over-infused a patient. The patient's heart stopped temporarily. This was reported by the hospital. We added a source and the part information for the pump. To continue processing our complaint, we're going to switch to the Complaint Activities tab. This complaint involves a serious patient injury. Although FreeQMS videos should never be construed as legal advice, it would be hard under FDA 820 and ISO 1345 2016 to not investigate this complaint. And it works great for our video example. We will click the Create Complaint Activity button and then Investigation Root Cause. Nothing on the screen should come as a surprise to current Kappa Module users. We will complete the activity screen field by field. Activity status will be new. Description. Engineering perform investigation into Lifeguard 600 PCA pump over infusion to hospitalize patient. We will assign this to CHIP as a representative of our engineering department. Start date will be today's date, and due date will be in 30 days. Complete date we can leave blank for now. Legacy record ID. Our company does not assign unique identifiers to investigations but this would be a great place to put an investigation number or document number, but we will put NA. Complaint items. We will select our lifeguard over infusion at the center of the complaint. Investigation plan. Engineering will retrieve the pump from Deer Valley Hospital and perform a detailed investigation. For now, we will click Create. This video follows a typical workflow where the complaint coordinator is assigning the task of investigation to a subject material expert and the results of the investigation are not yet known. We can see our newly created investigation root cause activity. We're going to select it to update it with the results of our engineering investigation. Let's click the edit button. From here we will update the remaining fields. Activity status closed. Complete date will be today. Investigation conclusion. This pump completed an extra, non-commanded bolus infusion of morphine on August 13th, 2021. The internal system clock showed an incorrect bolus infusion time of 12 a.m. See attached engineering investigation for details. Root cause. The company performed a 5Y analysis after a detailed engineering investigation. The root cause of the extra bolus infusion occurred due to the failure of the pump's internal BIOS battery, which caused the system clock to fail to update, which in turn resulted in a time-based morphine infusion schedule running over. No system error was displayed for the failed BIOS battery. And we can click Save. Now we've updated our investigation conclusion and root cause, but we want to provide some proof. We're going to use the FreeQMS evidence system to attach our original engineering documents. Let's click Add Kappa Activity Verification. Let's click Add Kappa Activity Verification again. This time we'll select from our local computer, 24th August 2021, Engineering Root Cause Analysis Lifeguard 600 over Infusion, and fill in the evidence field with Root Cause Analysis Completed by Engineering and Quality Teams. Click Save. Great, we've completed our investigation activity, but what now? Well, for the purpose of this instructional video, we can safely conclude from our engineering investigation that our device has contributed to a serious patient injury. Let's return to the Complaint Activities screen. From here we will click Create Complaint Activity, then Reportability Assessment. The Reportability Assessment activity is new to the Complaints module. 
This activity is meant to help companies assign the responsibility of determining reportability with flexibility. Multiple decision trees and reportable methodologies can be completed within a system activity or multiple activities can be created for different assessments. Let's complete the form. Activity status is new. Description. Regulatory Complete U.S. FDA Decision Tree. Assigned to. We will assign this to Conrad as a representative of our regulatory team. Start date will be today. And due date will be 30 days from today. Complete date will be left blank. Legacy record will be NA. Incomplete items will add lifeguard over infusion. Reportability assessment methodology. Now let's pause here. Once again, FreeQMS videos should not be taken as regulatory or legal advice. In our fictional example video, our infusion pump is only sold in the United States. That means we will enter FDA reportability assessment per 21 CFR part 803. We could also enter something simple such as complete FDA decision tree as this terminology is fairly universal within the medical device industry. If this device was also sold in Europe or another location that requires the same reportability assessment, we could also enter Perform Vigilance Reporting Assessment per EU MDR 2017-745. Or if it was sold in Canada, Perform Canadian Medical Device Reportability Assessment per SOR 98282. But as this device is sold in the US, we will leave the FDA. Let's click Create. Great, we've created our reportability assessment activity and assigned it to someone in our regulatory department. In the real world, our regulatory person would now receive a task in FreeQMS and their email, then most likely be the person to come in to complete the activity. In our fictional video, we will complete the task. Let's select the activity and then click Edit. We will update the form to activity status as closed. Complete date will be today's date. Reportability assessment results. Regulatory has completed our FDA decision tree document and concluded this event must be reported to the FDA as a 30-day report. Keen watchers may conclude that, given the nature of the injury in this fictional report, this could also be a 5-day report. We will not advise users on making that distinction. Click Create. Of course, we're also going to attach our form to the evidence system. Decision trees are guided by regulations and always changing. Let's click Add Kappa Activity Verification button and then select the file from our local computer. 24th August 2021, FDA Reportability Assessment, and put it in the Evidence Field Assessment Tree Complete by Regulatory. Great, we've completed our investigation and determined this complaint was a fault of our device, and we've performed a reportability assessment and determined a report must be sent to the FDA. Many companies, especially those that are using an external consultant to complete submissions through the FDA, Electronic Submission Gateway, or those that are using the ESG, lack a way to track submissions within the complaint file short of creating a paper system or server folder and saving a copy of the submission record. To handle this requirement and track the communication within the record, we will use FreeQMS's Notify External Party activity. Click Create Complaint Activity, then click Notify External Party. Let's complete this form. We'll do this one a little differently as we've already shown the Create versus Edit process twice. We'll complete the form on Initial Pass-Through. Activity status is closed, and the description will be Submit Electronic FDA 3500A and Attach Proof. We'll assign this to ourself. The start and due date will be today's date, as well as the complete date. Legacy record ID will be NA. Complaint items, lifeguard over infusion. Action required, submit report through ESG. Notice required, 30 day report. Notes, attach electronic receipt. And let's click create. Great, our activity is created and complete. This is an easy one we performed ourselves. We have one thing left to do. Attach the evidence. Let's click Add Kappa Activity Verification. We'll select a file from our local computer, 24th August 2021, FDA ESG Submission Receipt 30 Day Report, and in the evidence box put Electronic Receipt of ESG Submission, then click Save. 
Awesome, we've created our notify external party activity, completed it, and uploaded the evidence. Now, within a single system, we were able to track not just our own complaint, but who participated in each portion, what the results were, when the work was done, and what the evidence is. This is incredible traceability. In the next video in our series, we'll perform a correction and a corrective action arising from this complaint. Stay tuned, complaint processors.